Okay, everybody, so now we're going to go on to how do we get to this from nothing? Well, I'll give you my tips on how to do it. Um, an author, first of all, is someone that writes stories. They can be long or short stories. They can be real life fantasy. They can be for young people or older people. The easiest way to write a story is just to write. You can change the story as many times as you like afterwards until you're happy. Stories can have pictures. Let's have a look. They can have pictures. These are all pictures that I drew myself. Let's have a look, see. It's all about the dung beetle and how this dung beetle loves to dance. Um, so how we start is we write, I come up with the, the title of the story and then I write the story. So I just write it like this. Pretty much the whole entire story is on two sheets of paper. You don't need to type it out, you can write it out. There's no right and there's no wrong way to do it. Then once I've written my story, all my stories rhyme, but you don't need to rhyme your stories, is I start drawing the basic illustrations of what I would like my picture book to be. So here you go. So this is all about some monkeys, and I drew some pictures of what are the monkeys gonna be doing. They're gonna be talking to each other. Then this little monkey is gonna see a gorgeous monkey and they do all sorts of tricks and anyway basically you can see what it's all about how they how the story evolves so it's all on just pretty much scrap paper you don't need anything fancy and then once you've decided what you want your story to be you get a better paper and you can either draw them yourself like i've done here show you a few of the images so these I've just pretty much drawn and painted myself this is from the elephant's itchy toe so these are all just little drawings that I've drawn there's no once again right or wrong way to do it there's a leopard under a tree and then pretty much what happens is once you have finished your story you're happy with the layout you can get it printed and all you need to do is you just need to get the writing put in. So you can see here, that's the same picture that I drew just now. Look, there he is with a crocky. This is a bit of a bigger one. And then it becomes part of your book. And you put your, your writing that you've written in there. And the story evolves into an actual book. You get the covers made, get them printed at a printer, and then you have... A wonderful story that people can read so the stories that I've written as I said is the elephant's itchy toe that's all about a little lurie which is a go-away bird and it's all about kindness and how this poor elephant's very very itchy toe gets um, well he gets help pretty much from the least expected person so this is one of my first books that took me two years to draw and illustrate and write so it was a very very long process but it doesn't have to take you that long to do it. Obviously, I just wanted it to be a very, very particular way. And I wanted everyone to love the story. My next book was The Dancing Dung Beetle, all about a little girl, Dung Beetle, Rosie. And it's based on truth as well and how she follows the stars. And that's how she gets home on her dung ball. So that's uh, the second story that I wrote. And then the last story is called More Than a Roar. And it's all about a mummy leopard who adopts a baby cheetah. And now, I don't know if you guys know that a cheetah can't roar. He can only chirp. So in the African jungle or the African savanna, there's a little cheetah that tumbles out of a bush and he doesn't have a mommy. And he's very sad. Look at him. Very, very sad. And what happens is a mommy leopard says, don't you worry, I'll look after you. And what happens in this story is the baby cheetah realizes he's very different from everyone else because now he belongs to the leopard family. He can't roar, he can only chirp. So how does he respond to that? He gets very sad and he feels like he's not good enough. And his mom, which is a mommy leopard, teaches him that he is more than a roar. So all of my books have a very valid moral. So it teaches you something, something about yourself. This is all about accepting yourself and finding your strengths. The dancing dung beetle is all about following your heart and doing what you love because the dung beetle obviously loves dancing and loves rolling a dung ball and doesn't mind if anyone laughs at him or her. 
And this one's all about kindness and accepting people, whether they're big or small, they can still do something amazing in the world. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this little video about how to become an author, how to become an illustrator. Please try and write yourself a story sometime in your life. If you love doing something like this, it's an amazing way to express yourself. If you can't write, draw. If you can't draw, write. Get your brothers, get your sisters, get your family and friends to help you. And I would love, love, love to see any of your exciting stories that you've written. Have a lovely day, guys. And don't forget to read. Bye.